Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Got Lex. Today it's Friday, meaning that tomorrow is Saturday and also the season debut of my cycling year. Meaning that there's a time trial tomorrow in Nestville. I have a, an early start at age 53. Meaning that I have to get up really early tomorrow to get something to eat. Um, and have about an hour's drive to Nestle. Um, it isn't ideal. I'd like a, a later start, but that's just uh, the terms and conditions. So hopefully I'll get the best out of it. I'm normally not that good at early starts because my body's just not ready for it. But hopefully a good warm up uh, tomorrow will um, will help me in that um, aspect. I still have to get uh, to pick my numbers up tomorrow. So I'm hoping that. It'll be pretty um, easy tomorrow morning. Um, I I'm hoping that it won't be too hectic at least. Uh, the weather seems to be really bad. We have, we're have in the late April now and they're talking about like 5 to 7 degrees uh, overcast and uh, with winds up to just about uh, 15 uh, meters per second which is quite a lot. So. I'm hoping that uh, the wind direction and the roof direction is uh, pretty parallel so you only have headwind and, side and um, tailwind uh, and not that much sidewind. Anyways, I'm going to use uh, the 6 front and the uh, disc uh, rear, but I'm also bringing along uh, the 4 front uh, from the other wheel set. So if the wind is too bad tomorrow, I'll probably put on the 4 front instead. So since the time trial is tomorrow. I was uh, actually planning on going out today and uh, just do uh, an hour easy warm up uh, with some intervals and getting uh, the legs open but it's just um, they've been talking about that it's going to rain here right now so I'll probably do it on the turbo trainer uh, instead and hopefully uh, get a good rhythm. Another thing has happened and that is that the before mentioned uh, Super Magazine, one of the uh, or probably the most read uh, cycling magazine in Denmark, arrived yesterday, and I'm in it, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can find the page. It is right around here. So I've got like this spread, and also this. So that's me. That's pretty cool. I really enjoy. I was actually thinking of buying two magazines to just have two magazines that I could uh, use and have uh, for the rest of my life. So that's pretty cool. I've already gotten some uh, some pretty good response to it. Uh, so thanks, Super Magazine, because you uh, you took up this. Um, this will be a, a vlog that will uh, last over two days because, as I mentioned, it's Friday today, and I won't be able to finish this up before tomorrow so tomorrow you'll get another log but I think it's time to uh, get in the clothes and jump on the turbo train to just get the, uh, the legs warmed up so it's just a bit over six o'clock in the morning I've actually slept pretty good um, I've done about just over seven hours um, I'm not a person that can just go and uh, wake up early and get about five hours of sleep and then still perform uh, my whole body just can't stomach that at all so I need to prepare myself to uh, wake up earlier uh, in order to perform better and since we only got the times start times on I think it was Wednesday we got them so I only had like two days to uh, to try to change the rhythm a bit but it's breakfast time now mm. the wind seems to have um, come down a bit which is great the weather the temperature is just about four or five degrees which is a bit cold, but I guess that's all right. So hopefully I'll have luck going to the toilet <laughs> uh, soon and uh, getting the breakfast down. 
Tabanoi. Uh, it's about uh, 7.30 now and I've been riding for 30 minutes or so, driving for 30 minutes or so. Um, I'm a bit tired, I must admit that um, when you're used to waking up at around 7, 7.15 and then waking up uh, just a quarter to, to 6 in the morning. It actually makes a difference, so uh, hopefully I'll get uh, some energy uh, as soon as we hit the, the colder weather and I'm not sitting in a car being a uh, lullaby to sleep. I don't drink coffee, so uh, I don't get any caffeine in the morning, so my breakfast was just basically uh, orange juice, uh, some oatmeal and uh, a banana. So. I don't, I don't get that kick uh, as many that drink coffee do, so that's a, a bit of a, a disadvantage for me, but anyways, uh, it's worked before and hopefully it'll work again, and uh, I'm not getting my hopes up for this time trial anyway. Time trialing isn't really my discipline, um, I'm more of a puncher, but I really enjoy uh, doing time trials. I don't know why. I just I like the fact of uh, going fast on a bike and uh, being in that position and just feeling everything passing by really fast. So I'm probably going to be last and I'm okay with that because I just think it's fun. So this is just pure cycling joy <laughs> that uh, has me waking up that early riding uh, about 100 kilometers is a start in a time trial that I know I won't have any chance of winning even finishing in the top five. I've done some small modifications to the bike uh, compared to uh, Tuesday where I did the Chrono Cup. So this time I've put on uh, a bit faster tire. I have the uh, S-Works Turbo on it, uh, 24 both in the front and the rear. Uh, the uh, Reynolds Element disc is a pretty narrow um, disc wheel so fitting a 26 didn't look that good so I fitted a 24 from uh, from Specialized. Ideally I could probably have gone for the Turbo Cut which is an even faster tire than the uh, standard Turbo one but given the fact that it, uh, it rained quite a bit yesterday and uh, we have a lot of the small, I don't know actually what, what it's called, probably I think it's called Fire Rock or something like that. Uh, it's basically a pretty sharp rock that we have uh, here in Denmark and it, it lies all uh, around, across the roads and you're very prone to punctures um, just after heavy rain because it's uh, a pointy rock so uh, the heavy uh, or the heavy part of it uh, kind of like uh, gets to the bottom and then you have the pointy thing pointing upwards meaning and it's very sharp rock so it'll just slash through tires as easily as anything so the turbo cotton as fast as they are they don't have the sufficient um, puncture resistance for riding a day like today so decided not to go with that and also because the fact that I didn't have the time to buy any um, I also put in some uh, latex tubes in the uh, in the wheels and hopefully that'll give me a couple watts extra and I think that's about it actually uh, besides that the, stand, the uh, setup is pretty standard I've of course brought my uh, time trial suit today uh, which should also give me uh, a bit of an advantage over the uh, normal uh, bibs and jersey that I rode um, on Tuesday so all in all I've done what I could and uh, hopefully it'll uh, I won't be too bothered by waking up too early uh, and just be able to hammer it from uh, from the get-go. One of the things that I find mo most uh, difficult with the time trial is actually the warm-up because there's a lot of different philosophies to that. Uh, some people say that you should have like an hour warm-up 
uh, just really getting the body ready and the latest uh, science basically says that the shorter the warm-up the better so I'm a bit torn in between what I actually should do some say that you should ride in like 10 minutes in your uh, time trial zone some say you should only ride in four or five minutes in that zone and all that so I found uh, and I've done it before the team sky uh, slash British cycling um, warm-up which is about 20 minutes and it's it's not easy warm-up but it's not that uh, straining on the body I guess so you have like a gradual uh, ramp up to your zone 5 uh, over eight minutes so you start somewhere and you finish just in your uh, the last 30 seconds or so in your zone 5 and that seems a bit better so hopefully uh, the warm-up will be good for me as you might have guessed now the time trial is done it didn't go as well as I'd hoped to be honest um, just never really found the rhythm never found uh, the pace never had the power in the legs so it was a bit disappointing uh, <laughs> I already had a uh, plan to come in last and I did um, so uh, nothing new in that but the gap to um, the one who was just ahead of me was just too big it was a tough route it was 25 kilometers wasn't it which isn't too long but given the fact that I haven't really done any intervals in that range before or this season um, just makes it a lot worse and time traveling just isn't my thing although I do really enjoy it so all in all the um, my mood is actually pretty good it was a great ride I, I, I did good uh, just uh, didn't have the rhythm or the uh, the power today uh, fair and square there's nothing more to it um, it was a, a pretty um, hilly route uh, I never really found the pace and uh, going out we had like this the first part about the first kilometer or so was just massive side wind then we uh, made her a left and then we had a uh, massive headwind instead and uh, we had that all the way through the uh, the point where you turn around and go back the other way the the ride home was actually pretty good because you had like a massive tailwind so uh, at one point I was actually riding in the 54 uh, 11 and had a cadence of 115 or 120 or something like that and could go faster if I wanted to but it just goes to show that you really need to um, train this either you're a gifted talent that can just uh, do this power uh, thing and uh, you can be like me <laughs> and not have that much challenge in this discipline but just find it uh, funny uh, or fun to uh, to do these rides so I'm actually pretty satisfied um, all things considered um, I'd like to finish better I guess but then again I really enjoy it and uh, I can only laugh about it in the end because I'm really that bad at time trialing the good thing however was that uh, the position was actually pretty good um, I really enjoyed that position I still I think maybe that my uh, TT suit is very slippery uh, on the saddle that I have so I keep like being being pushed forward so I might look into um, some way of uh, fixating myself a bit more in the saddle but it was a great ride. it was a good ride uh, I hope next time that I'll have more power in the legs and be able to maintain a more decent power than I did today the power was way off um, but we'll see the, the next time trial is already on Wednesday I think it is 20 kilometers or so and um, Hopefully it won't be as cold as, as it was today. It was just insanely cold. Really, really cold. And we we're just freezing in the uh, the waiting area afterwards. So that's it for me from now. That's it from me for now. I guess that's how you say it. Thanks for watching once again. And hopefully you'll uh, tune in the next time that I'll do one of these videos. Completely ridiculing uh, myself in the time trial uh, position. Bye.